my dear listener, remember it is a season, a period of penitential preparation towards Easter, right? And that is exactly why today we are talking about uh, the colors within the season of Lent, the practices during Lent, and the significant days during Lent. All right? You have a question? What is this that you want to know? 0712-223385 or on Facebook page Radio Mini 88.3 FM. And in studio, I'm still with Wakili Jacob Situma here, uh, representing the rest of his team on the answers from a Catholic segment to make you understand all that you ought to know about this Lenten season. And very straight to Wakili, good morning once more, my brother. Good morning, Broman. Uh, yes, now you are putting on another cap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I, yeah. may, I may be described as a cat. Yeah. Nine lives. Nine lives. But this is the second cap. Uh -huh. I wonder where the seven are. <laughs> <laughs> they just manifest themselves. Don't worry. Yes. If I grow, when I grow up, I want to be like you. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> that you switch so swiftly. <laughs> but anyway, Wakili, how is your Latin season, my brother? Uh, thank you, brother. This Lenten season, it's uh, it's good. Uh -huh. I thank the Lord and the Mother Church for this opportunity yeah. to do an introspection mm -hmm. to. Uh, dive deep in ourselves to find the missing links, mm -hmm. to establish the missing beacons mm -hmm. <coughs> in our relation and day-to-day -day journey of our salvation mm -hmm. uh, as we aim to to, re to go back and be with the Lord. All right. So it's a period that um, I'm glad it is manifesting well. Mm -hmm. The Lord is truly great mm -hmm. and we, we pray that he may guide us through this season okay. so that we may be able to prepare mm -hmm. For the, for the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Let me borrow the word you've just used. Introspection. Yes. Very important how I wish people would understand the weight of uh, it all. But all in all, Wakili, in your own understanding, why do we celebrate Lent? <clears throat> Thank you, Bramwell. We celebrate Lent, or rather the Mother Church has given us this spirit of Lent mm -hmm. to prepare ourselves for the for the holy week to prepare ourselves for the passion death and above all the resurrection of our lord jesus christ mm -hmm. the triumph by our lord jesus christ over death and uh, the fulfillment of the promise of god mm -hmm. and for us to experience this great manifestation in our lives in our christian life we must prepare ourselves adequately. Mm -hmm. We must prepare ourselves by ensuring that we have uh, uh, made ourselves ready for this occasion. Mm -hmm. And just like any other event in our African setup, in our context, we usually have period or moments that precedes the main event. Mm -hmm. And those moments are decorated with a lot of preparation including uh, cleaning the compound, ensuring that everything is at its right place, and ensuring that we follow the, all the laid down procedure. Mm -hmm. So it is equally the same in, in this period. The period of 40 days is for us to journey with our Lord, to take a step back from our day and day hustle, and look within us and ask ourselves, am I really... Uh, keenly following this journey of our Lord in, in salvation mm -hmm. so that at the time when we will and we will celebrate the resurrection of our Lord we will have manifestly or rather we will have put ourselves in the right place to be able to 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 uh, to rejoice in the spirit of Easter mm -hmm. to rejoice in the resurrection of our Lord okay well put uh, Wakili now you you will realize uh, that land has a very deep roots in various key episodes in the history of salvation that is our own history uh, in your own understanding then why do we start Lent with Ash Wednesday Thank you, thank you, Brahma. Uh, as you, we are all aware, uh, the period Lent is a period of 40 days. Mm -hmm. um, and the number 40 has a lot of biblical significance. We will remember that the Israelites journeyed in the wilderness for 40 days. Yeah. And through that journey, which was not uh, a, cozy, a, a rosy affair, mm -hmm. it was filled with a lot of trials and tribulation. The Israelites were led by the Lord. They were able to encounter those challenges and they were able to surmount those challenges mm -hmm. <coughs> through God's own divine providence. The Lord will feed them with manna. The Lord will lead them across uh, across that tortuous land. Mm -hmm. We also remember that our Lord Jesus Christ, before the start of his ministry, 
went to the wilderness to pray for 40 days mm -hmm. and for those 40 days he was uh, filled with the holy spirit and he was able to overcome the temptation mm -hmm. so uh the period of 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 uh, lent which starts on ash wednesday also is very very key and it's purposefully set for that for that ash wednesday so as to remind ourselves of where we we all come from or where we should desire to go mm -hmm. and uh, the 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 day is, is marked by uh the 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 side of the ashes on of of the cross on our foreheads mm -hmm. to remind us that indeed we are entering into a very solemn period a period that uh requires that we take a step back and reflect and do an introspection mm -hmm. so that we be ready for the resurrection crucifixion and resurrection of our lord jesus christ okay so the the number 40 is very is very important because mm -hmm. it 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 connotes the biblical congruence mm -hmm. it connotes the 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 alignment of uh the events that led to the salvation of man mm -hmm. from uh from the time uh, of at uh, the time of uh the Israelites in the wilderness, also Noah's, uh, food, uh, Noah's ark, to also the, the time our Lord Jesus Christ spent in the wilderness mm -hmm. to prepare for his, for his ministry. All right. Yes. And I like that uh, history that you've just given. Now, why is the color of the season purple, Wakili? Purple, uh, purple is a very special color. It's mm -hmm. a royal color, as we, 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 we understand from, the, from history. Mm -hmm. Uh, kings and the royal family would don uh, turn the color purple. Okay. And uh, it has two significance. Number one is also is a royal color. Mm -hmm. And you remember uh, when our Lord was crucified uh, at the time of uh, being crucified, he was being mocked mm -hmm. by, by the soldiers who mocked him to be uh, a king. Mm -hmm. And they adorned him with cheap raiment, a uh, cheap cloth uh, of, th of that of that of that color, and um, little did they know that indeed this was the King of Kings, mm -hmm. uh, the King, uh, the Lord of Lords, and in their mock trial, uh, trying to cover him with that uh, purple uh, piece of cloth, mm -hmm. and mocking him that if you are the King, then uh, save yourself and all that. Uh, we 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 find that. Uh, Indeed, Jesus Christ is the king. Mm -hmm. And in as much as he was just adorned at that time with the cheap raiment, that, that did not take away his kingship. He still remains and he is the king of kings. Also, the, the, the color purple is, is a color of penitence, mm -hmm. is a color of, uh, of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, that uh, the, the, the church or rather the priests also adorn in, uh, when, when they're issuing the sacrament of confession. Mm -hmm. It is asking us to go back to the lord it is it it manifests that 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 uh, symbolism of inviting us back to to the lord uh through the sacrament of uh, penance mm -hmm. uh, and also through the process of remembering that our life depends solely on christ who is the king mm -hmm. yes okay. so it is a very significant color in the church mm -hmm. and as we have noticed it is a predominant color during this season mm -hmm. of Lent. and talking about the pre uh, predominancy of color purple within the church during this season again does that mean that Lent itself has color uh the color of Lent, the season yes it is it is color purple purple yes uh -huh. so uh in uh in the addition of being royal you mean again the color purple uh has a relation to do with the repentance of sins yes yes mm -hmm. yes it it does that because it is a color that uh, reunites us back to the lord All right it is a color that demonstrates remorsefulness mm -hmm. it, it demonstrates our sincere sincerity in in our in our uh, penance in mm -hmm. coming back to the lord mm -hmm. and as such it is the color of uh, of the season because this season is all about uh, finding uh, finding our path mm -hmm. finding our true north All right doing uh, the three key uh, requirements of this season mm -hmm. uh, prayer fasting and arms giving mm -hmm. and remember the issue of prayer prayer also involves an element uh, of asking for forgiveness yeah. which is very very central and the church in uh, uh, encourages that we um, 
we we attend the sacrament of confession mm-hmm. so that we may be washed and and renewed and given a new face as we as we as we continue with our salvation with our journey of salvation all right now during these 40 days journey of lenten season wakili in order for us to deepen our connection with god i believe there are certain practices that you and i and the listener out there ought to engage in or practice what are some of these practices during lenten season uh, you remember, uh, as we have said, l- the church gives us this particular season mm-hmm. in preparation for the for the Holy Week, yeah. in preparation for the cr- resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in doing that, there are certain key things that we have to do that we are called upon by the Mother Church to put in put in place. Mm-hmm. These are uh, to intensify our prayers. I remember throughout uh, the year of uh, the calendar year of the church and uh, all the time we are called upon to pray we are we are called to pray without without ceasing mm-hmm. uh, but during this particular time we are asked to intensify and be particular in our prayers so that our lord may manifest himself in us so that we may encounter this 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 particular particular grace of the lord and by doing that uh, we 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 set aside a lot of time to pray mm-hmm. and for example uh through the act of fasting uh we we find that even the time we will have used to eat mm-hmm. we may use that time to modify ourselves and to strengthen our faith and to deepen our relationship with god and you see by doing that you deny yourself certain things that uh, you ordinarily will go with mm-hmm. or you will want to ha- to have and enjoy in life so by by co- constantly denying yourself those uh, particular things you put yourself in a state where you get to commune more holy and more fully with the lord and also able to spare a few resources that you will you will give to other people uh, the less fortunate in society uh, in society but remember we 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 are being encouraged by the church not only to intensify the external manifestation mm-hmm. the church requires that we do an introspection as we have stated mm-hmm. we look inwardly and ensure that we are we are in the right uh, places with our lord mm-hmm. uh, so that we may radiate the light and uh, the fullness of christ to other people we can only do that if we ourselves are able to 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 realize the manifestation of the lord mm-hmm. if we are able to realize the manifestation of the lord then we will be able to radiate that to other people okay. so this three uh, traditional requirement of praying fasting and alms giving should be supplemented by an inward uh, introspection mm-hmm. by looking deep within us to find the missing link to establish that very important connection with our Lord and to ensure that uh, we are not just doing like what the Pharisees were doing, uh, putting on sackcloth, uh, 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 having uh, very uh, groomy faces Mm -hmm. uh, as an external manifestation of their fasting. Mm -hmm. Our fasting should, first of all, be internal. It it should manifest itself in ourselves Mm -hmm. so that we are able to radiate that to other people. Okay. Yes. And talking about fasting, Wakili, from where you are sitting, what is the value of fasting during this season of Lent? Uh, fasting has very many benefits. Uh, and in, in particular, in, in relation to this particular period of Lent, fasting, uh, number one, it creates time for you to be able to commune with the Lord. Mm-hmm. Number two, it puts your mind uh, in a position of being alert. You are constantly aware that there is something that is missing. At this time, I ought to be doing one or two things. Mm-hmm. Well, I ought to be enjoying my lunch or my meal. But because I have denied myself that, it reminds you of the why. It reminds you of the why you have deliberately chosen to deny yourself that. Mm-hmm. And constantly when, you, when, the, when the mind registered the why, you will find the, the reason as to why you are doing that. Mm-hmm. So fasting acts as, as, as a compass to redirect you back to prayer. To redirect you back to prayer mm-hmm. because sometimes in in the comfort of our living we may we may be tempted to forget the essence of prayer yeah. because things may 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 appear to be going on well mm-hmm. so by the fact that we have taken the step and it's a very courageous step especially in the in the party in today's world where we are pretty we are disposed to uh, fast food and uh, uh, availability of uh, food especially here in town mm-hmm. it it acts as a guide 
to always remind ourselves as to why I am doing this in the midst of all this. I am fasting for the purpose of bettering my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. I'm fasting so that I spend this time in prayer, so that I save the money or I save uh, the food and help the needy. Mm -hmm. And above all, by doing that, I am deepening my relationship with God. Okay. Yes. One of the most common uh, things that we don't do uh, during this Lent is sing Gloria or say Alleluia. What is the reason behind it? Uh, you know, uh, glory and hallelujah are uh, uh, expression of praises mm -hmm. and rejoice. We are rejoicing about the, 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 the resurrection and the triumph of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But we deliberately uh, omit to do that during this Lenten period mm -hmm. because we are journeying with our Lord in the wilderness. We are journeying with him in his temptation. And the ultimate end is his death for our sins. So, by doing that, we deliberately direct ourselves or the church directs us to that critical moment of our salvation, mm -hmm. critical moment of our humanity, uh, so that we appreciate that uh, before uh, before uh, the resurrection of our Lord, there was a, there was a good Friday. There was the Good Friday where our Lord uh, died on the cross for our sins. Mm -hmm. And therefore that asks us to remember each and every day that uh, during this period that will I in my living, will I in my day-to-day -day activity be the one who will continuously put the Lord on the cross mm -hmm. because uh, he was nailed on the cross for our sins. Mm -hmm. So if I continue... Uh, see, uh, putting myself in a in a state of sin, I continue transgressing the law of the Lord. I continue to fail to 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 partake in the sacrament of confession. Then I must ask myself: Is by me doing this or failing to do this, am I still putting the Lord on the cross? Mm -hmm. So it is an invitation for this particular period to reflect and understand the centrality of the death of our Lord on the cross. So that by, by us understanding the centrality of his death on the cross, we will be able to follow and uh, put in practice his teaching so that we may not be the ones who continuous, continually uh, nail him on the cross. All right. And talking about continually nailing Jesus Christ on the cross, one of the things that I need to do is to observe the three pillars during this season. Mm -hmm. Talk about the pillar of prayer. Talk about the pr uh, pillar of uh, fasting. Talk about the pillar of almsgiving. How can I leave these pillars, not only through this season, but to be part and parcel of every other um, day of my life? You, you know, the, the period of 40 days is a period that uh, should more one, one way or the other kickstart us for the rest of the, of the year, yeah. the, the church calendar year. Mm -hmm. And by, by embedding these critical practices in our lives, they, do, they not only uh, get result for this period of, of Lent, mm -hmm. these, are, these, are, these are activities that sh we should carry along as we rejoice uh, on the resurrection of our Lord and we continue with the rest of the year and activities. So what we are supposed to, to do is to, to deliberately understand the importance. You know, uh, understanding something will create an environment where the mind and the body will fully execute that, that instruction. Mm -hmm. If we understand that this... Um, the passion of Christ uh, and his temptation was for our good. And as such, we should carry the message all along in, in, in our spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. Then we will find it easy to, to, to put in practice the issue of fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. Because uh, Christ is there forever. Is, is there today, tomorrow, and every day, and forever he will be there. Mm -hmm. So his teaching his life examples should always continue even outside the period of lent mm -hmm. because these are these are uh, events these are activities that deepen and strengthen our faith in the lord mm -hmm. yes okay and uh, talking about strengthening our faith uh, in the lord uh, wakili you 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 would uh, realize that during this season the fourth sunday in the season of lent it is dedicated for something Yes. Okay, tell us more about it this fourth Sunday in the season of Lent. Now, uh, the, the church has uh, structured it in such a way that on the fourth Sunday of, of Lent, mm -hmm. we take a break. Okay. We take a break 
to remind ourselves of the triumph of uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ over death and uh, the evil evil the evil one mm -hmm. and by doing this we celebrate uh, we celebrate and rejoice uh, on the on on the triumph of our Lord Jesus Christ and there's a Latin word it's called laterale Sunday mm -hmm. uh, and we, we see on that Sunday, we get to read scriptures from the book of Isaiah, mm -hmm. where we are invited to, to, to rejoice. Why are we rejoicing? Uh, we are rejoicing because we know and we believe that ultimately Jesus Christ will triumph. Mm -hmm. So that puts us in a celebratory mood in the midst of Lent and, uh, and encourages us that in the midst of this trying moment, in the midst of denial, we should always find joy in, in, in this pain because our Lord endured pain for, for our salvation. Our Lord came from heaven. He assumed a, a, a human body, mm -hmm. but he did, not, he did not get sin. But he, he, he sacrificed and died for our sins. Mm -hmm. He fulfilled the will of our Father. And you see, even during that difficult and trying moment, there is some joy because ultimately, uh, Sunday, Easter Sunday will come. Mm -hmm. In as much as we are in the midst of trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. ultimately the, the the Easter Sunday will come. So this 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 day, and you will also see the 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 the, the vestments that are adorned by our priests is mm -hmm. slightly different. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, who is colorblind, I may not. <laughs> clearly recall which color that is <laughs> but i will say rose is, is, is it rose is it pink is it <laughs> <laughs> we will let our our listener uh, tell us, about tell us more about the color yes. but you will, i'm sure next sunday our, our listeners and viewers will observe right. and see and see and see the change okay yes oh, good good is, is it is it also related again to what normally happens during the season of advent um, gaudete sunday maybe uh, this particular Sunday where we are encouraged to rejoice, to take a break and rejoice about the triumph of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, there is, there, is, there is that relation. And you see, in, even in Advent, mm -hmm. we are preparing for the birth of our Lord. Yes. We, we, are, we are put in a situation where we have to anticipate. Mm -hmm. By anticipating, as we have uh, stated at the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, even back at home, we would do certain things. We will prepare ourselves. We will wash our garments. We mm. will clean the house and do all that. Um, in anticipation of, our, of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So that is also very, very key. Okay. Yes. All right. Wakili, Bana, I don't want to keep you here so long because I know your <laughs> schedule has been quite crazy today. Today yes. I've kept you on toes. Yes. <laughs> but thank you for being very gracious enough to uh, be here. I'd spend a hoping two hours with me together with my listeners. You've enlightened us about the law. You have now enlightened us about these Lenten season, the colors, and the practices that we ought to observe during this particular season so that all in all, we actually uh, strengthen our relationship with our Lord. Okay? Yes. You're parting short as we conclude Wakili. Uh, Bramal, as we conclude, I will echo the message of our Lord mm -hmm. and uh, the biblical text that invites us to come back to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And there is no better way that to do this other than just to sing this nice song that we always listen to. Mm -hmm. This goes Niru dieni mimi kwa mi hoyo yenu yote Taruweni mi hoyo yenu wala si mavazi yenu Kwa kuli ya kuomboleza, nirudie ni mimi. Bwana ndiye mwenye rehema, ameja huruma. Si mwepe si wa hasira, ni mwingi wa rehema. So in this season, let us remember that our Lord is gracious. Mm -hmm. He has granted us the opportunity to introspect and establish and renew our relationship with him. Let us draw closer to him. Let us draw closer to his fountain. Upana wakili. You are raised well. Kumbe wei ni msani. You have a voice to sing. <laughs> no, it's not the third heart. <laughs> that is not the third heart. <laughs> I told you they would be manifesting as you continue. Now you see. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Akili, for your time this morning. Thank as you. you go back to your daily activities, I wish you all the best. And may our good Lord continue blessing and lifting you from glory to glory. Till we meet next time, my brother. All right, my dear listener, that has been our time. Taking a very, very short break for news highlights. Then I'll be back with the third hour of the morning tide. Don't go too far.